term, a car travels at a constant speed along a straight line PQ, a loudspeaker is attached to the car and emits a sound of constant frequency, a stationary observer is at point O, so there is a stationary observer and the object moves towards the observer. So for the object moves towards the observer, we know that FO is equal to FS V, V plus minus Vs. And as the object moves towards the observer, so the equation would be FO is equal to FS V, V minus Vs. That means as the denominator decreases, that means the observed frequency would increase. And as the object passes through the observer, FO is equal to FS V, V plus Vs. That means as the object passes through the observer, the denominator increases, therefore the observed frequency must decrease. So here at this point, the observed frequency increases and here at this point, the observed frequency decreases. That means at this point, observed frequency increases, at this point, observed frequency decreases and at this middle value, that means at this point, the observed frequency is same. Because there is an increase, at this point there is an increase and at this point, there is a decrease. That means after the increase, it must reach its constant value before it starts to decrease. That means at this point, it reaches a constant value that is its original frequency that is FO. The answer would be C because frequency would be more than F. As the object moves towards the observer from P to Q, the frequency would be more than F. That means the source frequency. But it decreases as the car moves from P to Q. The frequency decreases because the frequency has a higher value, but as it moves towards the observer, it reaches its constant value that is FO before it starts to again decrease. That means initially it is at a higher frequency, suppose 3F, the 3FO, then it starts to decrease to its original frequency before it starts to decrease further, that is FO by 3. That means initially the frequency is higher, but as it approaches the observer, the Initially, frequency is higher, but it have to decrease to its original value before it starts to decrease to a lower value as it moves from the observer. Thus, the frequency would be more, but it decreases as it, as it passes from P to Q. That means as it passes from P to Q at Q, that means at a distance that is perpendicular to the observer, the fre observed frequency is FO. The observed frequency is of FO because as it moves to, to the observer, as it moves to the observer, initially the frequency is higher, that is 3FO. But as it moves to the observer, the frequency decreases to FO. Then as it passes through the observer, the frequency would further decrease, that is FO by 3. That means initially it has a higher frequency, but as it moves to the observer, it have to it had to have a lower frequency before it have to gain its original frequency before to gain a lower frequency. That means as it is at a higher frequency, then it has to gain its original frequency before gaining a lower frequency. So something looking like this, thus initially it is at a higher frequency that, that is 3FO and this is the original point. And as it passes through the observer, its frequency decreases that is FO by 3. That means before Decreasing to FO by 3, it must reach its constant value and the constant value at this point that is at Q. So initially it has an increasing value, then it decreases to its original frequency, then it further decreases, that is FO by 3 or a larger decrease. Thus, the frequency is more that decreases as the car passes from P to Q. That means at this point, the frequency is more, then it decreases to its original value, that is FO, as it passes from P to Q. There is a perpendicular distance to the observer.